Hello students, we are back. This is week three of e-learning for Spartanburg Christian Academy. And um, this time we're doing something different. We've covered photography, we have covered drawing, and now we are going to dip into three-dimensional art through sculpture. Now, for this project, you're not gonna be creating a huge sculpture like you guys were doing before we left um, with the coronavirus issues. Um, we are going to be doing something very small and you're going to be working individually and this is going to be a found object um, sculpture. So, found art sculptures can be made from anything. One of the artists we're going to be talking about is Leo Sewell and I'm going to zoom in later and show you up close um, some of these images and also some images um, of Leo. Um, he actually is an artist who growing up lived close to a dumpster area just um, where people would take all of their trash. He would often go and find all these little treasures that he would put together as a child and create sculptures and that's kind of how he got started. So now he uses all kinds of things, anything, metal, wood, glass, that he either welds together glues, attaches to make different things that are semi-realistic. He um, often does animals made out of all these different metal things. And one of the images I'm gonna show you today is of a dinosaur. Um, but when you research him later, you will see cats, dogs, ducks, dinosaurs, all kinds of different animals where he has, instead of using pen, paper, paint, pastels, he is using found objects things that he could find in a dumpster or in the trash can. Um, he's often called the junk artist, um, but super talented and amazing how he can take junk and turn it into uh, such amazing pieces of art. You guys this week, your assignment is going to be a found art sculpture. You are going to find objects around your house and it might just be one or two objects and you use multiple of those. Things like paper clips, sticks, this could be outside under a tree, leaves, paper. The paper can be folded. It can be made like a fan. It could be wrapped in circles. You could use cardboard. Think about toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls. Um, you should have a lot of those around. Um, buttons, even food. Think about macaroni noodles, beans. Um, it could be anything that you are going to use to create some type of sculpture and I've left it wide open. Now, Leo most of the time does animals. This can be completely abstract. Now I have some samples that I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk about and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see some of these where you can make it into a recognizable object like a cupcake um, or something like that or you can take something and make it completely abstract. So you might want to take something like sticks. This could be popsicle sticks. It could be sticks in the yard of where you are taking the object and you are going to create a sculpture that is going to stand on its own or lay some type of way on its own. Um, and the way you construct these is completely up to you. You may use tape. You may use glue. You may use hot glue. Um, be creative. I mean, some people could even use chewing gum, chew it up, use parts of the gum to adhere things together. Um, so there's lots of things that you can do. If you're doing something like paper clips, you could even just hook them into each other and figure out how to make something. This is one that's made into a sphere out of paper clips. Um, if you're doing paper, this artist um, use different colors of paper as they showed like a, a graduated scale from light to dark, you know, going from yellow to orange to red orange to red, going by that color wheel where they folded up pieces of paper and actually glued those together or taped those together. Um, this one that I'm going to show you up close in a little bit, these are all Q-tips. So you could even take Q-tips and we're going to be talking about these uh, principles of design, balance, unity, and rhythm. And these are some things that I want to see whenever you are making this sculpture. With balance, especially in things that are abstract, that are going to be round, or um, that you're trying to make it even, make sure that you have balance. Even though this is not a completely closed circle, 
in this sculpture, it still has balance. Okay, so you want to look for things to create balance, and it might be balance with materials, it might be balance with the way it's constructed. Also, think about unity. Okay, this is almost a given. Um, if you're using the same material over and over, like this is all paper, it's different colors of paper, but it's all unified that it's all paper. Um, you know, this has variety and unity because there's a variety of different ways they have use the paper like some of the paper has been folded like a fan when some of the paper has been torn up to make like the icing on the cupcake okay and some of the paper has just been cut out to make the little tag um, that goes down inside of the cupcake rhythm is making sure that it's all working well together and it shows movement okay you definitely see that with this one here with the q-tips how they have arranged these and glued these together to where they almost look like a spiral as they move. So you have lots of assortment of ideas. These do not need to be large, uh, very small. What you are going to do this week is you are going to find multiple items. These are just ideas. The options are endless with this. I mean, you could take anything to make sculpture out of. But you guys are going to be making a small sculpture with found objects that are inside your house, outside in the yard. You could use blades of grass even, um, sticks, rocks, pine cones. There are so many options with this. Um, and you are going to build this sculpture. When you have finished building your sculpture, I should see balance in it. I should see unity okay you can have something that's unified by using sticks pine cones leaves those are all unified because they're all nature outdoor materials also rhythm that it all has movement and works together nicely so I would like to see those three things in your small sculpture now remember you can build this you know you can use things like nails, even if you wanted to, to, I mean, your nail could be your, your material that you use, a bunch of little nails to make a little sculpture, a bunch of rubber bands. But you can adhere these together with your choice. It could be hot glue, glue, tape, anything of how you actually place these together. Um, and I encourage you, Google it, look online at Found Art Sculptures, look up paper sculptures. There's a million things that you could do with simply paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. Um, it, it doesn't have to be anything expensive that's going to take money or a trip anywhere. These are just anything out in your yard that you can put together to create a sculpture. I do not expect these to be any higher than 10 inches or so. Um, just to you play around working with these principles of design trying to create something and this is a little bit out of your comfort zone so I want you guys to experience that and experience working with things that are three-dimensional once you finish making your sculpture you are going to take a picture of your sculpture and you are going to email it to me or just submit it through Google Classroom either one a picture of your sculpture you are also going to be doing an artist study worksheet on the artist Leo Sewell okay um, and I'm going to show you a picture of him up close and some of his art. It's really, really interesting to see what all he makes out of basic junk, things that you would throw away in the trash. Um, but I want you to read about him and do the artist study like we have done the last two weeks prior to this and with other projects in art when we normally are here. Answer the questions, do a small sketch. I know the sketch will be a little bit more challenging since you're looking at um, all the different things he uses to make it. So, you know, if you want to crop in on a certain area, you can do that. Um, the sketch does not have to be colored this week. It can just be in all pencil if you want. If you do not have a printer and cannot print off the artist study worksheet, you're welcome to just do everything on notebook paper. If you have any questions about this, please email me. I will be glad to help you. Um, I am going to zoom in to show you up close some of these samples of very small found object sculptures so you can see what some of these look like 
and also zoom in on some of the work by Leo. And I hope you guys have fun doing this. Try to challenge yourself um, to see what all you can make. I'm gonna show you some up close. This is made completely out of paper and cardboard. Here's an example with sticks. This could be popsicle sticks, sticks from your yard. This is made completely from paper clips that are just attached together. I don't think any adhesive was used. Here's a paper sculpture where paper has been folded and taped or glued together. This is using Q-tips. Notice the rhythm and the movement in this sculpture. Okay, the artist that we are talking about is Leo Sewell. Okay, this is an image of Leo as he is welding together this dog that's made from found objects. Here is an example of a dinosaur that he has made. You can see license plates, all kinds of metal, wood that he has used. I hope this has helped you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.